one of the most difficult thing to do is that determining the area of interest and determining the field of interest where we have to pursue our career this is one of the most difficult questions to be answered for all the beginners who are just stepping out of college but according to me this thing can be done in the most easiest way but most of the time we are reluctant to accept it most of the time we compare illogical things impractical things and with over expectation this is what happens when you are trying to finalize or trying to identify your area of interest so before getting into this uh, uh, the subject let me clarify few things actually see we have to understand the most realistic way of life actually from my experience what i understood was i was checking with um, lots of people who have um, um, been through uh, different profiles uh, over the times and uh, who have uh, really succeeded on a lot of money and who were uh, really good at their professions actually so i i i tried my level best to understand from them at the beginning of my career so that i can determine my field so this is what the 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 final answer was actually those who have started as an accountant have become a specialist in it and those who have started as a construction engineer have become a design engineers and those who have started as a uh, the technical support uh, in call centers have uh, what do you call emerged as a um, what do you call a project managers so during the time and during the course of your journey uh, in your professional life lot of things may change so we cannot ensure so what actually designs your future is that how quick you are able to adapt to the particular situation or the job or the kind of responsibilities most people are not ready to take lot of responsibilities to be frank let me tell you because uh, people want more money but when you give more responsibility in order uh, for them to earn more money the people they just step back because responsibility cannot be dealt with everyone it needs a special interest it needs a special uh, what do you call knowledge to handle uh, the higher responsible positions because you have to involve every now and then so uh, earning money is not a very simple thing you have to have your knowledge and you have to handle the role and you have to handle the role responsibly so what i was trying to say is that whatever you design at the beginning of career after 5 years it may change so why do we have to bother about so about the field we are so much into uh, what do you call designing the future on in particular field that so the one thing is very simple that if you are disciplined if you are adaptive if you have an interest to learn the knowledge and improve your skills you can excel in any field this one simple thing and most people don't understand that is why these many um, what do you call doubts and confusions and uh, discussions are happening in order to finalize your area of interest so area of interest or the field of interest where you want to pursue your career could be done in the most easiest way according to me the first easiest method is that if you have any prior idea about any industry it could be an it industry in manufacturing automobile or oil and gas or energy sectors or any field if you have any prior idea it would be uh, something like that your uh, friends may be working in the same field so you already have some knowledge about this industry or your father or your uh, families or relatives are working already in this particular industry so you know that uh, the the what do you call the hierarchy levels of growth and the possibilities of uh, the long term uh, career growth in this, in this particular industry so you will be able to understand few things without going through some uh, materials or without going through some uh, what do you call training to understand about this industry because you have an idea about this industry so if you have any idea about any particular industry just go for it and try to focus as much as possible to improve your knowledge in that particular uh, industry so that you will be able to grow faster so the first thing is that if you have any idea about any particular industry blindly go for it don't think about the facts and basis in order to justify how much money you will get 
this year and next year and next to next year this is not how our the professional or career growth works actually so the career growth actually depends upon the amount of knowledge and the ability for you to handle a certain position there are a lot of people really really good at their knowledge level but when it comes to handling the position they are not good at it let me give you one simple example see there was a guy who was really good at um, uh, solving the technical issues but when it comes to the managemental issues something like the coordinations or uh, cooperation with other teams he is totally not good at it for example let's take piping as an um, uh, what do you call um, example so in piping design there are many uh, instances where you have to receive an input from other discipline and at the same instance you have to give an input to other discipline so these disciplines are interconnected so if they don't cooperate with each other probably uh, they may not be able to deliver their time i mean they deliverables on time so you have to understand the the seriousness and the the commitments of the other disciplines with respect to your inputs and at the same time you uh, like the other discipline also have to understand about your commitments and your responsibilities and your agreement with the deliverables with the client imagine that you uh, did not receive an input uh, from process uh, so how do you uh, release your documents so the input from the process such as pnid or data sheet are the key inputs for you to deliver your piping design deliverables and at the same time you also have to share your inputs to the civil only then civil design and structural design can be done so this particular guy is too much concerned about his uh, work his deliverables so he has collected all the inputs from process but he failed to deliver to the civil saying that he is too busy in delivering the piping deliverable but when it comes to a project if the project fails then you fail it doesn't matter whether you have um, delivered all your documents on time it doesn't matter at all so the intent is that there are people who are really really good in knowledge but they cannot handle the position so how do you think a company can come forward and give you more money in order to handle this role if you are not able to handle the role having good knowledge or having a sound technically sound in one particular field it's not sufficient to earn more money or to uh, grow yourself in the particular field so this is one of the reason why i was telling just go blindly in any field but make sure that you are adaptive and you progress in your learning and improve your skills so these are the three things you have to do so the one area is clear and now let's go to the second in the option second option is the last option okay so the second option is that those who do not have any idea about any field like you don't have completely zero knowledge about the whole world it's okay even i was like that i did not had any idea about anything i did not know what i wanted to become so for those who are like me and uh, those who completely have zero knowledge about any industries like their parents are completely uh, uh, unaware about the current market um, condition or industrial condition uh, their friend circles are so that they are not in a position to help him so there could be situations that uh, you may not get uh, sufficient information to finalize your or uh, conclude your uh, decisions so for those let me tell you just try to find five industries in the current uh, trending businesses we can say one is uh, i would say id sector and uh, the second one is energy sector even in energy sectors we have power and as well as oil and gas and petrochemicals and uh, we can say the third one is uh, manufacturing and uh, production and uh, the fourth one is uh, you have uh, infrastructures and uh, the fifth one is you have uh, project engineering project management or um, constructions these fields are so i am not only saying that um, these are the five industries that you have to focus this is just an example you can go through internet you will get a lot of options than the five options that i have said now 
So the fundamentally what you have to understand is that just pick any five different industries and choose your favorite industry from that without any facts and basis. Say for an example, there are people without facts and basis don't like construction because they don't want to get tanned from the uh, sunlight. So there is no facts and basis on that actually. And people who feel that what doing a white collar job is more luxurious than going to a field. It's totally a not acceptable facts actually. So for those who, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, don't like uh, the, the fields which you don't want to work, you can choose the five different fields according to your interest and choose any one blind. So the first one is, if you have any idea about any particular industry, just go for it blindly. And the second one is, try to find the five different industries and pick one blindly. So your field of interest is already finalized. So now, the only thing you have to do is that, on which area that you have to work. So which area you have to work. So this is the only thing that you have to finalize now. You have to understand that in every industry, that could be different uh, departments. Something like, let's give you uh, a simple example about uh, the common structures. So if there is a product, the product has to be designed and the product has to be built, which is known as a construction and the project uh, and the product has to be um, what do you call it? checked for the quality, which is the quality department. And uh, the third one is that it has to be sold and so advertising and promotion is required. And uh, the fifth one is that it has to be displayed somewhere. So warehouse. So likewise, there are um, departments according to different industries. So you have to find your uh, the favorite uh, the departments or um, uh, the roles where you have to work. So once after finalizing your field of interest, the next thing you have to find where you want to work. Whether you want to be a part of a design or manufacturing, production, planning or project engineering or estimation that you can decide accordingly. Okay, now again the question is the how to decide and which is the best one and which field can give a lot of uh, money to me and which field I can earn more money. So these questions are completely a baseless questions. Let me tell you, there are planning engineers earns more than design engineers and there are construction engineers earns more than a planning engineers and there are design engineers earns more than a project management. So it varies actually. So if you want to try to uh, like uh, if you are trying to find someone who gets more money then you can take an example of uh, Sundar Pichai who is the CEO of Google and you can try to become one. That is an ideal goal. Otherwise, if you are trying to play within the average scale and it's this is not the way to discuss and this is not the way to uh, do your analysis, I mean analysis to identify your interest. So don't take it too seriously. If you are going to take it, uh, uh, what do you call it, seriously in terms of finalizing your field, it is just going to waste a lot of your time. This is from my personal uh, experience that I would say actually. So uh, try to find any field according to whatever suggested uh, in this video will really help you. So uh, and uh, the, the second thing is that you have to finalize the, your role where you want to work within this particular industry. These are the two things that you have to do. And the third option also I wanted to give you actually. So for those who do not have a pre-idea about, I mean prior idea about any uh, industry or those who do not able to finalize or identify the five industries that I've said actually. You can, the third option is, you can follow your parents suggestions or friend suggestions. I will not recommend this one because according to me whatever life or whatever decision that we have to make, we have to make on our own. So that well, even if it goes wrong in future, we will not uh, blame others. Imagine that you have gone through as per your friend's uh, uh, suggestion and you were not able to progress well. What happens? Naturally, you tend to blame. Uh, there are good people who don't blame, I understand that, but there are other side of a people also who try to put blame on their friends just because of you and I have become like this. So why do we have to give such an opportunity? 
So I would strongly recommend not to take any advices from anyone. But at the same time, you have to do your technical uh, research and um, uh, what do you call uh, your uh, uh, findings in order to find your interest and um, uh, choose your uh, the, the best field and choose your job professions uh, based on your interest. So this is what I want to convey in this video. So I hope this is pretty much clear for you to understand how to determine your area of interest. I will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from Subhash Chandra.